mind, my point of view, it's the most important thing. It's my weapon. 36 years old and I still compete with the best players. It's not easy. It's consistent, working hard. You only have one body. I am Cristiano Ronaldo. Hot. Hot for breakfast. Eggs, hard boiled eggs with salmon. Cheers. What's going on everyone? It's Cecil Suede and in this video, I am going to eat like Cristiano Ronaldo for a day. Again, I know what you're thinking. Cecil, are you serious? Again, bro, we already saw this. Well, let me tell you, I'm sure that there's over 1,200,000 of y'all that would be interested in seeing his updated diet plan. So with that being said, I'll be following Cristiano Ronaldo's new 2021 updated diet plan for a day. You guys ran up up the numbers for that video. It's actually one of the most viewed YouTube videos on my channel. So I appreciate the support. And I'll tell you what, I need you to do three quick things, okay? Just make sure you smash the like button on this YouTube video right now if you enjoy this and wanna see more football players in terms of these diet challenges. And after you've given the video a like, just comment down below who next, which football player. You know, I'll choose whatever is top requested and I promise it won't be Cristiano Ronaldo, it'll be somebody else. Lastly, let me know what you think about Cristiano Ronaldo signing to Manchester United. I'm pretty excited. But listen up guys, there are normal human beings and there are extremely talented human beings. Then there's like Elon Musk and then there's Cristiano Ronaldo. Like that is how much of an elite human being this guy is. With that being said, he's got an amazing physique. He's always in top shape. I just did some research on his new updated diet plan and it's gonna consist of almost 3,200 calories coming from six clean meals. And I'm actually super excited because these meals are unlike any other. It's gonna be super unique, very clean, healthy meals. You guys are gonna be very interesting to see. So anyways, with that being said, let's get started of meal number one. Gonna go to the kitchen, see you guys there. So my guy Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely not a fan of IHOP because check it out. Meal number one is gonna consist of two whole eggs, sliced potatoes, along with cooked sliced onions, and six ounces of cooked cod. Cod for breakfast. Okay, next time you're at IHOP, don't order the breakfast sampler. Just ask for the CR7 breakfast sampler. I'm just gonna give you this. But anyways, guys, this is definitely interesting. I don't think I've ever had cod for breakfast, unless I did like the rock diet challenge video. I'm sure that definitely included probably like cod and steak and every single protein in its mother. Anyways, we've got some cod and potatoes and whole egg and some onion. Oh man, we're doing the cod on top of egg. <laughs> Just keep getting bro -er and bro -y. Is that even a word? Doesn't matter, you're a bro. Oh, that is very interesting. That dope spuzz on top of the cod. Just doing all sorts of things in my mouth. So cod is the driest, most bland protein you could possibly find. However, if you season it right, which I did, it is absolutely epic. So I'll try to show you all later down the video. Make sure you watch the entire thing, okay? I'll show you what kind of spices I like to use in my proteins, which just like, makes it an absolute banger. But anyways, guys, this is actually going to be pre-workout meal number one. Yes, you heard that right, number one, because we're gonna have two different workouts today, because come on, we're eating like Cristiano Ronaldo for a day, so we gotta just train our butt off. So we're gonna do workout number one, which is gonna be more high intensity interval training with cardio and abs you guys will see see you guys at the gym So listen up, you don't become the best athlete in the world by just weight training. We're gonna be doing a high intensity interval training session on the treadmill. So what that means is that I'll be sprinting for 15 seconds, then I'll be walking as a cool down for 45 seconds. That's gonna equal one interval. And we're gonna be doing a total of 10 intervals, all right, with warm up and cool down. That's gonna be like 15 total minutes. Wish me luck. All right, 
And ladies and gentlemen, we are not done yet. No pain, no gain, as they say. Anyways, we're gonna be doing some abs, right? If we're doing a video on Cristiano Ronaldo, abs just have to come and play at some point. So anyways, we're gonna be doing some ab rollouts. I'm just gonna do five sets of 10 reps. This is honestly one of my favorite core exercises to really build your abs and your core strength. Like this will help you in everything when it comes to weight training. Just a huge tip here. Try to get stronger. If you can't do five sets of 10, just work your way up. You know, do like five sets of five, even like five sets of two until you can just keep one-upping yourself in reps. Anyways, let's get started. Friends and family, so I am back in the kitchen for meal number two, which is not only going to be our post-workout meal number one, it's going to be our pre-workout meal number two. Holy crap, try saying that six times. Anyways, guys, yes, you heard me right. This is going to be the second pre-workout meal because I'm gonna be training again after this. It's gonna consist of my actual weight training routine. So we got cardio and abs out of the way, and now we gotta do the real stuff. Okay, even Cristiano Ronaldo lifts weights, believe me, does not get that body just running 100 miles a day. Anyway, so we have grilled chicken breast, around six ounces, and we have an avocado, we have romaine lettuce, and a tablespoon of olive oil, along with some vinegar. So just super basic here, but you can't go wrong with this, man. It doesn't matter if you're Cristiano Ronaldo, Seal Suede, Elon Musk. Why am I referring to Elon Musk so much? Probably the documentary I watched on Netflix about space. Anyways, yeah, cheers. Oh yeah, doesn't matter who you are, you'll enjoy this. Basic, extremely low carbs, no carbs actually, other than the avocado and the lettuce, pretty good. So I'm back at the gym for workout number two here at the TLF Training Lab, which is like the sickest gym ever, but I'd like to thank TLF Apparel for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what TLF stands for, it means for Take Life Further, which each and every single one of you savages should be doing on a daily basis. But look, let me go ahead and show you all some of my favorite outfits that I got them to pick out for me in three, two, one. Boom! And just like that with the power of YouTube magic, and by YouTube magic, I mean the Seal of Suede's Final Cut Pro editing software, we have got ourselves a sexy fit. So check it out. I'm wearing the TLF Root Crew Neck in brick, and also the TLF Command Joggers in stone, which is such a cool color combo. But anyways, guys, this is not only a very comfortable gym shirt, but more importantly, you can lounge in this every single day, and you can even go out with it. Like seriously, you're gonna get tons of compliments, and real men wear pink. I'm sure if you're Cristiano Ronaldo can attest to that as well. But anyways, these joggers are also amazing, not only for training, but for lounging. So this is not only gym apparel, it's also lifestyle apparel. But let me go ahead and show you all my other favorite fit for training. Three, two, one. Bam! Okay, I'm getting way too good at this. But anyways, I'm rocking the TLF League Stringer Tank along with the TLF Iron Shorts in black. So this is by far my favorite training fit by TLF Apparel when it comes to working out at the gym. It is so breathable, stretchy, comfortable. I promise you're gonna love these shorts and specifically these League Stringer Tanks. But anyways, guys, if you wanna check out TLF Apparel, make sure you click the first link in the description box down below of this video. And then just simply use the code code tlf seal at checkout. You're gonna save 15% off your entire order. You're gonna love this stuff, I promise. Anyways guys, I'm talking too much. I cannot wait to train this stuff and in this amazing gym. So let's get to it, baby. Workout number two, I'm scared, help.
ladies and gentlemen, that is how you smash workout number two. But look, I have a feeling like Cristiano Ronaldo probably has meal number three right on the pitch. So with that being said, you can see that? What's going on? What in the world? Meal number three? Where'd you come from? Is that just a random bag of impact weight protein powder right behind me on top of my car? Okay, I don't even know what's weirder. The fact that there's protein powder right behind me or that I have a banana that just magically appeared out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, right? Anyways, let me quickly magically fill this up with a scoop of salted caramel whey protein. What fools. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, magic. As if it exists. Like, Santa Claus is real. Shit! I'm getting protein powder on top of my car. There's no insurance for that one. Bam! And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, look, if Santa Claus was the ultimate bro, I swear I'd be him in another life. Anyways, cheers. Ah, getting down and dirty right on the pitch, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, we really are getting down and dirty. People might be staring at me right now, but I don't care. They're not making gains. And that, my friends, is how you crush meal number three right outside the pitch. And by pitch, I mean right outside the gym parking lot. Ladies and gentlemen, so I am back for an official whole foods based post workout meal. And let me tell you one thing, when I was reading the ingredients for meal number four, I was a little bit freaked out. Like there's a whole lot of stuff that just don't sound like it mixes, especially for a salad. However, look at how this turned out. I mean, this seriously looks like it could be prepared by a five star chef, definitely not named the seal suede. But hey, I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back or shall I say shoulder here because I did a pretty damn good job. I mean, let me know, rate this one to 10 in the comment section down below, but all this talking is not gonna do any justice. Let's actually give this a try. I'll tell you one thing, that salmon is cooked perfectly, so that's a win. You know what? We have eggs, hard boiled eggs with salmon. All right, six ounces of salmon, few cups of salad, two whole eggs, olives and olive oil. Cheers. I cannot believe I'm about to eat an egg with salmon. That should not taste that amazing. Wow, I feel like the ultimate bro at this point. I cannot believe salmon with whole eggs tastes really good. Okay, so there's this theory that my mother, AKA Mama Suede, AKA the most amazing woman in the world. Sure, sure Think your mama, stop, stop. She used to always tell me, or at least she used to like yell at me when I was a kid. She used to always tell me never mix milk with fish before you swim. I know this is like the weirdest thing ever, but have you guys ever heard that more specifically from your beautiful, amazing, gorgeous mothers? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, mama Suede, don't worry. We're mixing fish with hard boiled eggs and olives. I'm actually shocked at how much I enjoyed that meal. I think this is the secret to Cristiano Ronaldo's godlike superhuman powers. I might have cracked the code. So get this, meal number five was supposed to include swordfish. However, I could not for the life of me find swordfish anywhere, so I got catfish. And I figured cats, swords, same thing, right? However, I'm pretty upset because I've never tried swordfish before and I was pretty excited to give that a try. However, I've also never tried catfish, so it's gonna be a first time for the both of us. Well, I don't know about you, but definitely me. Anyways, we also have two cups of Spanish rice to the side, so I used a Uncle Ben's packet of Spanish rice, which is super convenient, by the way. I use it a couple times per week when I'm short on time or didn't like meal prep enough rice. However, just keep in mind, it does have a ton of sodium. I definitely recommend you get the regular basmati or like white rice or brown rices. Cristiano Ronaldo probably has like a five-star chef preparing his Spanish rice. It's definitely no Uncle Ben. All right, we're gonna give this a go. Mm, mm. Oh wow, definitely doesn't taste like a cat, but that's actually a pretty damn good piece of fish. I'm a fan, definitely a fan of catfish. You know, I don't know how swordfish would have been, but let me tell you, the catfish and Spanish rice combo, absolute banger. 
that is so damn good. Like these meals have been an absolute hit, but I'm gonna credit it to the way I season the catfish. So if you wanna know exactly how I season not only the catfish, but my proteins in general, which is super simple, zero calorie, and it takes a taste of your proteins to the next level. After you're done watching this video, just simply YouTube search a seal suede meal prep $30, literally just like that. So you're gonna find my meal prep video where I literally show you exactly what I use through a voiceover. You're gonna love the video as well. But anyways, that is gonna wrap up meal number So it's finally time for what will be the most delightful meal in today's day in the diet video, AKA meal number six, which is going to consist of one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt mixed in with one scoop of salted caramel flavored impact whey protein powder by my protein with one sliced banana. Now, this is my favorite meal when it comes to having a dessert, but not having dessert, right? It's got tons of protein in it with the Greek yogurt, obviously with the whey protein powder and salted caramel. Not only, as I mentioned earlier, is my favorite my protein and packed whey flavor, it absolutely slaps for this specific recipe. I mean, look at that. It's like salted caramel delight parfait. Holy bro cologne. Bro, my God. Mm, that is so good. Wow. Cristiano, my man, you do not miss even when it comes to these beautiful recipes that I was already familiar with but I like to remind myself because I'm definitely gonna start making this way more like way more Wow, I forgot how good this was and how filling it is. Please give this a try. Tag me on Instagram at the seal suede if you do. Let me know how this works with other of my protein flavors. Remember, you can find the Impact Whey Protein Powder link in the description box down below. Seal VIP at checkout gets you 45% off. But let me know what you think of this with other flavors because honestly, I usually just do it with vanilla and salted caramel. I've never tried it with like fruity cereal or such a bang. Ronaldo is also said to only drink alcohol on special occasions. When he does drink alcohol, he will only have one glass of wine. Special occasion. One glass of wine. It's been a long day, okay? So check this out. The total macros and calories in Cristiano Ronaldo's diet plan, the 2021 updated diet of the absolute powerhouse machine of a human being consisted of 3,149 calories coming from 208 grams of carbs, 138 grams of fat, and 273 grams of protein. So if it were up to me and I was Cristiano Ronaldo's diet plan coach, I would definitely decrease the amount of proteins he's consuming along with the fats a little bit and highly increase the carbohydrates to get to around like 3,500 calories or so, depending on how much the guy trains and he works out a lot. But I'm not Cristiano Ronaldo's diet plan coach. I mean, hey, if you're looking for a new one, CR7, and you just are magically watching this video, you know where to find me, buddy. Anyways, guys, besides that point, remember this is for pure fun and entertainment reasons. Don't think you're gonna look like Cristiano Ronaldo if you follow his specific diet plan. Everybody has different macro and calorie needs. Remember that. Look, if you enjoyed this video, please just make sure you smash the like button. If you wanna see a different football player, whatever's highly requested in the comment section down below will be whatever I will follow next. And obviously, let's run up this video, okay? Let's blast the numbers on this YouTube video. Get this to 10,000 plus likes, and I promise I will do whatever is top requested in the comment section down below after we reach 10,000 likes. Weech, I think that big glass of wine is definitely starting to hit. But look, with that being said, if you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe subscribe button right now. There's so many of you guys watching that are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. I have no clue why. And also more importantly, hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. So you know when I upload new videos every Monday and Wednesday, so you don't miss out. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at the seal suede to see what I'm up to next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.